So we're going to look at the acoustic version of Layla, and we're going to go through all the parts of the song, and then look at some approaches during the solo sections, and how you can kind of get a little bit of that clap and sound yourself, but also how you can apply it to getting your own sound as well. So what I'm going to do is play along with a backing track, so you can kind of hear the parts in context, and then we'll break down what's going on. And we're going to do the same thing for the solos as well. So let's give it a listen. So I've got the uh, backing track, uh, I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to try this stuff out yourself. I'll put also a link in an end card at the end uh, of the video as well. You can just click go right to it and try this stuff out yourself. But let's get into it. So this song is in D minor, right? So revolving all around this open D minor right here and starting off with a... So this little A, C... Going to a B flat, C, back to that D minor. And that's it, and it keeps doing that right at the beginning, right? And then it's got the little solo over it that we'll get to uh, a little bit, but then it goes, at the end of it goes, it goes hard hits on an A, C, so right into the verse, right, to the C sharp minor 7, to a G7, all you have to do is move this shape over one string, same fret, same shape, and it turns into a G sharp 7, sometimes I'll put this extra note up here, which is also 7th, just kind of changing up the sound, back to a C sharp minor 7, and then real quick hits going C, D, And sometimes they'll do this little fill or something like it. So it makes it an E7. So it's E, E7. That kind of overall E7 sound. Doesn't matter if you actually play that or not. You can just play an E. And then I love this change right here to an F sharp minor. To a B, E. And then it does it all again. plays just a hair early that A and then that's when the Layla comes in and that intro is the same thing as the chorus and that's it for for parts of the song it's really just you know those kind of two two main parts and I love that you know that verse it's so jazzy it's just got that jazz movement of chords just going what they call up a fourth going to the E it goes down but it's also it's still musically going forth Hey, all this is big jazz stuff. Um, so so cool, and of course both versions are so awesome. The electric one so fast, and you got Dwayne Almond on there, and all that, that that cool piano. And uh, this one is I don't know which one I like better. They're both so good. Um, one of the classic songs of showing you two different versions with tempo and instrumentation, having the acoustics on uh, this one and stuff. So now let's give a quick listen to me just playing kind of the overall approach of what he's doing there in that intro solo. Nothing note for note, you know, sometimes a little bit close, but just getting uh, the, the approach of it. And I'll show you what uh, what is going on. So we are playing, you know, D minor. So we've got some different options. He's focused mostly on the D minor pentatonic scale and some other little things I'll get to in a second. But he's starting off by outlining the the chord right here, D minor chord. If you think about it, we're playing D minor up here instead of down here. And actually, right away, he's playing a note. He just quick, quickly though, just in passing, 
outside of the uh, the D minor pentatonic. It's part of the overall scale. That's the second in E. So here's our D, E, our major second, and that's from the overall D minor scale. And he's kind of climbing up, and now he's up to here. And he's just messing around with this stuff over here, and then he gets up to a that little thing. I love that. That's just the minor third. Just a slight bend. Gives it a little twang. He's hitting this note up here too. So that gives it kind of more like a, almost like a flamenco sound when he's, he's adding that E again. The same thing is down here. It kind of just helps take it out of that you know, classic just, you know, E minor pentatonic, or I'm sorry, D minor pentatonic, or, you know, blues scale it. And then he does it down here. And then finishes up basically by going. Because this kind of more of a classic kind of blues sound. And then hits that that A C to bring it into the uh, to the verse and starts his singing there. So that's just the overall kind of approach. But you know, really work out, you know, anything that's just with these scale options of the minor pentatonic and then the D minor pentatonic you got that 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 blue note there um, those are just kind of different scale options to give you different kind of sounds different colors to to mix things up and try at different uh, positions but it's mostly right here to right here and that intro solo so he's not all over the place it's just a couple positions really um, but let's listen to the uh, the longer solo kind of just getting the approach again of it and then we'll look at more of what he's doing So I love this one even more. He starts off with a lot, a lot of double stops in this one. He's up here in that, that, in that D minor shape, same as the first one, but he's starting higher up here, playing the top two notes and just bending them. So, and then a lot of bending around there, right? And then he's up here, and then he goes up kind of like a next kind of theme. These two notes here, so it's the flat seven and the fifth of the D minor. His classic like blues stuff, just sliding it up, right? And then he's up here doing that, which at the first time I actually um, was saying he was doing that, but actually it was this slight bend here and all that—that's actually in this one. I was I was messing up. I wasn't listening to my own uh, my own playing from that first one, right? So, and then sometimes he's throwing in this note right here. Making it even kind of more of that kind of, again, flamenco type acoustic sound. That's that flat six. That's what makes it the minor scale, the natural, it's called the natural minor. So this note added in, but especially this note right here, this is the characteristic note of the natural minor scale, a flat six. And, and you know, so he's not playing it all the time. He's just throwing it a little bit here and there. Same thing with that that E, but overall focused on the D minor pentatonic and occasionally throwing in a, a blue note as well, at flat five right here. And uh, you know, the one other thing he's doing here, he's going, he's just right here, these two notes, here's a D minor, um, it's a flat third and the fifth, he's like playing this right here, and he, but here's that second again, he's hammering on. Sometimes they be pulling off a little bit. And they're gonna lots of sliding around. And that's just the that's the overall you know approach of that that big solo section. But now on my backing track, if you want to try playing with it, I stretch that just at the end another section just way out. Just to give you a lot of time to play 
with it because the solo sections are just it's just like not you know it's not long it's perfect for what you know a performance of a clap did, but but for for practicing sake you know we need a little bit more so i extended that out so you can just play it for for i forget how many minutes three four five minutes of all that stuff so what i want you to do is try out all the things we talked about right and also try out just mixing things up of like okay try out the, the minor pentatonic right adding in just a blue note you know like dry double stops so you know these two try out just different get familiar with that stuff you know lots of sliding hammer-ons all that kind of stuff come up with your own little melodies and then try just adding in notes from the minor scale you know or just try the full, full scale to get familiar with it but then when you're trying to be you know more playing to be a little more tasteful just just a little bit and see how like adding that in one note if you're playing the minor pentatonic how it adds that certain flair and then you know there it is higher up and then try adding that flat six and uh, you'll see how next thing you know you're just cruising right along playing this bluesy kind of jazzy flamenco cool sound that Clapton's got um, going but I want you to try this stuff out and develop you know your own sound see different things that uh, you like yourself and uh, hope that stuff helps but if you got your guitar, you want to try this stuff out now, of course, the backing track is right here in the description down below. Check it out now and uh, have fun with it. And I'll see you in one of the next videos.